Welcome back to the course in nuclear medicine physics. Today we're talking about the interaction that neutrons have with matter. Now a neutron is an interesting particle because it's chargeless, so it doesn't interact with electric charge in matter, but it also is massive, so it interacts with matter differently than photons. The main way that neutrons interact with matter, of course, is with the atomic nuclei. So you have nuclear reactions. Oftentimes, of course, neutrons can interact with matter and release alpha particles. And these alpha particles are then what's used to treat in various forms of treatment. If you enjoy these videos, please be sure to like and subscribe and enjoy this one. I want to quickly finalize with just one slide or two about interactions of neutrons. Now, these are not photons, these are not charged particles, but these are heavy particles that don't have charge. So we talked about thermal neutrons in the past, and these are basically slow neutrons. Uh, well, because they don't have charge, they don't really go undergo any electromagnetic interactions but they will interact with the nucleus of the absorbing materials. Not, with really, not really with the orbital electrons, they will really just go into collisions with the nucleus. Uh, as we saw in the production of radiopharmaceuticals, if you have thermal neutrons, they're likely to undergo absorption reactions with the nuclei in the media. And well, that's what we talked about, neutron activation, and that's why how we produce radioisotopes. But you can also have fast neutrons, and these neutrons are neutrons that have much, much higher kinetic energies. Now, when you have this type of neutrons, they are more likely to undergo scatter interactions, so they won't really just go inside the nucleus. They'll knock the nucleus and, and change direction. And we have two possible scenarios. One, in which we can have an elastic scattering. So you have, well, in this case, the neutron collides with the nucleus and uh, well, it rebounds or it scatters elastically. It doesn't lose any energy. So the neutron you had at the beginning is basically the same as the neutron that you have at the end. It typically occurs for, it's more likely when these neutrons are traveling in low Z materials. You can also have inelastic scattering. In that case, those neutrons interact, like collide with the nucleus. They're momentarily absorbed and the nucleus releases another other secondary products. So this incoming neutron loses energy so that's why I'm calling this now N and N prime, just to show that you have slightly different energy in those neutrons. This is typically occurring for neutrons that have an energy of more than one MeV and is more likely to occur in high Z materials. I think someone in the past was asking, I mean, someone was saying in the chat that, well, the neutrons are bad, bad for your body. Of course, nobody wants to get really irradiated with neutrons because we, yeah, it's bad. And the most of the reason for that is, if you think about fast neutrons when they interact with carbon and oxygen, think about your body has a lot of carbon and oxygen. Uh, and they have this inelastic scattering. What ends up happening is there are a lot of charged alpha particles being released. So you have a neutron that then becomes a scattered neutron, but it can release three alpha particles or a scattered neutron with four alpha particles. And these alpha particles deliver a high radiation dose to tissue. And that high radiation dose to tissue from these reactions is not good, that, that can kill people. So that's why, yeah, it's never, never good to just be irradiated with neutrons. Okay, so that's everything that I have for today. There's some questions here that you can work on yourself. If you want to expand on the knowledge, um, I think it was.